So this is my uh, pepper pot wobble steam engine and uh, it's made basically from a uh, it's made in three sections this section here this section and then the base section the top section was turned from a piece of uh, one and a half inch uh, aluminium bar the base section was turned from a piece of two, in two inch aluminium bar and um, the actual stand plate at the bottom was just uh, again turned from a piece of uh, three and a half inch aluminium bar um, the piston again was turned from some one and a half inch aluminium and uh, if I can just stop it you can see the uh, that it's sort of offset from the center there and it's obviously connected through with a piece of uh, uh, it's four millimeter silver steel which is uh, threaded into the a cylinder side and then a clearance hole through and a, and a spring and then a little turned um, knurled thumb screw <coughs> uh, that was that was just made from uh, a piece of uh, half inch brass and also these two little uh, oiler plugs were also turned from the same piece of brass that one incidentally has got a small uh, fiber washer just to seal it because obviously that's the top of the piston to the top of the cylinder um, the flywheel was turned from a piece of three inch brass uh, it's 15 millimeters thick I did it originally I was going to use an aluminium flywheel that I'd made but it was just simply too light there wasn't enough momentum to be able to return the empty cylinder the, uh, the crank itself just made from a quarter inch slice of one and three quarter inch brass uh, the crank uh, the um, connecting rod is just made from a piece of quarter inch square stock which was uh, turned down and the piston was made from a piece of 16 millimeter aluminium uh, turned down to final size 15 millimeters uh, it was simply um, threaded uh, an M M5 I think it was and then the end of the brass bar was turned down to M, turned down and uh, threaded to M5. Uh, it was actually then turned round and just uh, left a, a little square section at the bottom for the uh, connection to the uh, crank pin there. Uh, the crank pin is actually just a piece of well, it's a four millimeter uh, stainless steel dowel. Um, the actual crankshaft is some eight millimeter silver steel and uh, there's two little bearings it was basically drilled and ringed through to 12 mil and piece of two pieces of phosphor bronze were turned down to uh, 12 millimeter and obviously 8 millimeter on the inside to accept the shaft and uh, they were turned at uh, 12 millimeters long so the thickness of this central column is approximately 30 millimeters so they, that was that um, they stick out about one millimeter either side there so that that left a clearance gap in the middle and of course then i drilled through and put a little sort of commercially available oiler there um i've had this one knocking around for ages but then you fill that up and it just fills the little reservoir in between the two bearings and allows the oil to uh, lubricate uh, both sides of the bearings um a little cork mat at the bottom if you do turn the speed up it wobbles like crazy and tries to throw itself across the room so simply because of the, the mass at the top I guess wobbling there doesn't make it particularly stable but at that sort of speed it runs nicely um, I think that's about it so uh, oh, I painted it blue obviously as you can see and um, the sort of design this with this white uh, with the silver aluminium stripes sort of looks very similar to like the Cornish blue uh, tableware that you can buy so uh, I've named this the uh, the Cornish blue pepper pot wobbler steam engine simply because the shape of it reminded me of a pepper grinder so there you have it my latest little engine <laughs>